So this is all about uh, allowing some local schools and colleges to have a go at a real engineering challenge, and that is to build a rocket car, and not only build a rocket car, build the fastest rocket car of all their competitors. So really uh, emulating what we're trying to achieve with the Blood Town project, and also a part of that is really to inspire the next generation. So we're using this project to inspire the next generation of engineers to take up and consider engineering as a future career. We're apprentices who just started with Renishaw, so um, they spoke to us and said well, we'd like to come and represent the company and do something fun for the day, so that's why we're here really. It's a good experience to get involved in. It's your grasp on how, how you should go about planning and designing and getting the optimal out of it and then seeing if it actually works and then you just build on that then afterwards. And use that in the future, so that's quite a good scope to start with. Do you want to uh, streamline it? Functional aesthetics. Just try to make sure that the body is as low to the floor as possible, and um, that way you just don't get as much air as possible. It's under there. And then just use the tape to make it as smooth as, smooth as possible. Uh, and, uh, use the, uh, have a dip in there. So now I channel the air through there instead of just going all over the place, so it actually channels the air. Um, We've done the same underneath as well, so channel the air directly through the middle of the car, which helps ability. We work for Delphi Diesel Systems. Um, the idea of this car we came up with, um, we had a presentation from the Bloodhound Group and we saw what sort of design they had come up with. Um, we realised it was quite sleek, quite narrow, um, got rid of all the excess weight that they had. Um, then we just basically panned out, drew out on the block, thought what we needed to put in, and then just went from there. And throughout, we just constantly changed bits and pieces. Made the major surface nice and smooth, and added a racing strike for extra speed. Yeah, so they're going to have a, a, a small energetic uh, device up, up the rear of the car, and that's going to provide the thrust to run it along the corridor, this very long and wide corridor. Um, and there'll be time, so we'll be able to work out who went the fastest. I've seen loads of really interesting and different designs today, uh, which is unusual. Usually they all seem to follow a pattern, and it's brilliant to see you all sticking to your guns and coming up with some nice original ideas. Some worked better than others, um, but they all worked. Um, so well done to everybody. Thank you.